Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Resident Evil Village, or for what everyone else calls it, Resident Evil 8. I loved the intro trailer for this. I've avoided as much gameplay of this as possible. It's only been out for a few days, so I've managed to do quite well. Um, obviously, I've been, uh, I have, the, the internet is flooded with fan photos of a certain bad guy in this game, but, or bad lady in this game, but uh, we shall not dwell on that any further, because, um, well, in the game she's about nine foot tall and has about three foot long claws that she tries to cut us in half with. I've seen the trailer. So, yeah, like, yeah, I kind of, I've, I've, I mean, Be Bex, will, Bex will vouch for me on this. I have done bloody well keeping away from any spoilers in this game. So, just want to have a look to see. Uh, there we go. Change the save points and that. Part of the trauma pack. Right, new game. Casual. Definitely casual. Because <laughs> from what I can gather from the trail. Long ago, a young girl went oh. with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. Are we sure this is but the forest evil? greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. I need to find the mother's berries. worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Bat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared and with a click of his fingers crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Um... Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said uh, nothing as the girl approached and snatched story what she felt was another gift. The horse grew angry oh. and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark, yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. That is a creepy ass story. The store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Oop. You're just being paranoid. It's not- All right, Mia, chill. Jesus. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. We hear Bex furiously clicking away sorry. in the background. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've heard it's of button okay. mashing, but <laughs> mouse mashing. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. Oh. I'll put her down. I was about to say, that must be pretty bloody minted. I mean, look at the size of this place. This place looks great. Oh. Nothing in the drawer. Can I go back here? I can. Oh. oh, Mia. What a miracle. Three years ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. <sighs> Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. You hungry? No? Maybe later then. Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. <laughs> Don't give it any sugar or honey and no mushrooms. <laughs> yes, they're raising the child right. No mushrooms. <laughs> Alright, let's get you to bed, little one. Oh, whoosh. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Oh, this is the bathroom. Oh, of course, the mirror is fogged up, so we can't see what Ethan looks like. This place is bloody huge. How could they money. afford something like this? Jesus. The place is so big they've got a they've got a chill area in the bloody on the landing upstairs. Why do I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. I've got a feeling that's one of those uh, you know have to destroy all of them. Emblems. Oh. Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Oh. Ethan Winters and his wife are also believed to have been nearby, but they can't whereabouts are unknown. Oh. Everyone's forgotten about this already. I was going to say, I'd love to have a house. Look, they've got two fucking chill areas. They've got two, they've got two chill corners on the landing, for God's sake. Mom and I love this song so much. Love the song so much, but it's slightly muted, so, you know. No copyright. Oh, it makes sense. Her bedroom would be, her room would be, in here with how young she is. Oh my God! This... <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if there are any photos of Ethan. No. I wish it could stay like this forever. Of course, she's playing with her friends. It's very noisy. Oh, I better get your bear, old monkey. <laughs> well, hi there, little Rose. <laughs> oh, birth certificate. Oh. 
Rose is fine. <laughs> Big letters at the bottom. Rose is fine. Can't keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. It's the real world monsters you got to worry about. <laughs> Hi, Mia. Also, that's a giant. Okay? Those are some giant ass like bottles of wine. I like a baby. Mmm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's Chorba de la Gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm -hmm. That's it. They've been there six local months. How does she too. know about local? But if you're gonna keep yes, talking to the locals and that, how could Maybe she learn any. how to cook something from the locals that quickly? You really have to stop worrying. Some it's just finding you in Louisiana, uh, pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, Chris moved me, them there? Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- Ah. Uh. Mia! Get down! I was gonna say, he seems completely unfaithful to being shit. What? What? Jesus! Ah! What the fuck is going on? Mia. Oh god. Chris? Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Oh, God. Why? Chris, do you want to give us an explanation as to why you've just murdered Mia in cold blood? Oh, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Rose. Uh, Chris is the bad guy? What, what the fuck? Get him off. Oh, Chris, please tell me you haven't gone full Wesker. I swear to God, if that's if that's the big twist for this game that they've made Chris Chris Redfield, hero from the OG Resident Evil game, they've made him go full Wesker. I'm going to be so pissed off. Hey Doc. Hey, Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next day at four o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. <laughs> that was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now, think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's going to be fine. I just know it. What else matters? Nope. We matter, Ethan. You matter. You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there uh, something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Okay. Uh, hell?
Okay, so the van transport has crashed. Oh, no, it was attacked. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not walking out of the walk Fuck. What the hell happened to you? Can I move? It's useless. Eliminate target, recover body, secure Rosemary. Mia was the target. So Mia was the target, and they were sent to recover her body. Move on, move the two Winterses to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Obviously, that's a trail up here, so I'm guessing that's from the driver. That clicking is so loud. <laughs> Hello? Um, it's a dead but a lot of dead. Um, oh, oh, God. What's with all the dead birds? Oh god, what? That one's not dead. Um, hello? Oh, is it too late to go back to the van? Dead fish. Weird shadow people running about. What the fuck is going on? Hello? Running water. Not that I really want. Not that I really want to clean the wound with water from that sink anyway. Doesn't exactly look hygienic. Down into the creepy ass basement, of course. Hang on, this is very reminiscent of Resi 4. Oh, does this mean there's gonna be a local that's gonna attack me? Because I have I have heard 
from the spoiler-free reviews that it is very reminiscent of Resi 4. Why aren't you a looker? Oh my god, it is. This is exactly like Resi 4. Uh, um, I don't want to open that wardrobe, I want to barricade it shut. It's, it's a wardrobe covered in blood. Right, screw it. That was a rat. Okay. Um. Hello? Um. Oh yes, because this is a really bright idea. Yes, you've just sliced your hand open even more. Well done. Okay. So the house is fucked. Uh, oh, what the fuck? going on <laughs> ah I could move quicker <clears throat> also chasing after the thing that just tore through that house really bright idea there even where the hell am whoa I? Okay, that is... It's terrifying, but it's gorgeous at the same time. It's got a very Van Helsing feel to it. Oh! Hello? Oh. Dead horse. I'm sorry, can I... I know there's something creeping creeping about now, I can hear it, but can I just say, those are some fuck-off big eggs. Seriously, look at the size of the eggs, look at the size of those goddamn eggs. Can you imagine the omelette with those? It's a boiled egg that can feed a family. Maybe, maybe they're out? Um, I think that's I think that's naively optimistic. <laughs> Maybe they're out. Sofa torn in half. <laughs> oh. An easy to pick. <gasps> we get lock picks. Oh, I can pick locks in this game. I need to find the lock pick. Being as this is the intro area, I'm assuming I'm going to find something to pick the... Just going to ignore the, the uh, syringes and the dirty-ass barn and the... Hello? Need some kind of other item. You mean a crank? Ugh. Okay, that looks like something we can... Oh, but do I have anything in my inventory? I don't even have an inventory yet. Do... Oh my god, they've got the blocks! Yes! Thank you! Thank you, Resident... Thank you, Capcom! Oh, this was my favourite thing about Resi 4. The, att the attaché case storage system. Bex is just like, what are you talking about? Because it's it's a survival horror, and it's included Tetris. For some bizarre reason, they included a Tetris-style mini game where you have to organise your your storage so you can carry stuff. 
it was one of the, it was the weirdest thing they ever added to Resi 4, but it was so beautifully done. Do not enter. Okay. That's... That's Rose's monkey. Or a monkey just like Rose's. Go out on a limb and say we're supposed to go into the village. So I'm going to check up here first. Ah, that's the very first building. Okay. Giant ass bot a portion of orange juice. Why would you buy a one liter orange juice when you could buy a two liter plastic carton of orange juice? Saving the planet. <laughs> Oh my god, someone had a thing against goats. Bex, I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Sorry. It's a it's a corny joke, I know, but what happened? Graveyard workshop ceremony. Ceremony site? What have I walked into? Some weird cultist Eastern European village. Locked due to missing homeowner. That's encouraging. It's locked with a weird ass symbol on the gate. Um. Hello. Hi, I'm I'm the new neighbor. Oh. Uh. Okay. Right, the fact that I've got a knife and a first aid kit. Yep, see? Ah, uh, it's the Resi, it's the Resi 4 style. I love it. Did they just run out of the house? I wouldn't recommend eating it. I'm backing away. I'm backing away. Fuck it. This is gonna be such a bad idea. No, no, friendly, friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road. And... What's going on? <laughs> the face. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? No. Don't tell me I have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it. Uh, okay, thank, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, okay, I'm being dragged through the floor. Oh. Um. Dead body. Bodies. Wait, there's more. Please tell me you kept hold of the gun, Ethan. Yes. Okay. Hey, why are we doing a shotgun? I want his shotgun, please. Jesus Christ. Um. What the hell is wrong with this place? Is it just me or all the male bodies that are... Uh... Um... What is that? Ow! What? It's a fucking werewolf! Why is there a fucking werewolf? <laughs> Ooh. What was that? A werewolf. Get the gun. Ethan, get out the gun. Get out the gun. Get out the fucking gun. He was torn up from around here. Where is his shotgun gone? <laughs> oh, a pair of bolt cutters. Nice. All right, so I can't go back that way. Yet. I know I can go back that way eventually because there are collectibles back there. Why is there a fucking werewolf? Oh, hang on. Um. Hey, I crafted an item. And my inventory is fairly fucking full already, Jesus. Furious clicking continues. <laughs> And no, she's not playing my. Uh, I am. Uh, she's not playing that Mayo game. If you're wondering, <laughs> use the bolt cutters. Bolt cutters used for cutting chains. No shit. <laughs> to the creepy house that's a lot of arrows and does that mean I can get a borrow a borrow and <laughs> I warn you motherfucker I'm armed Barricade the door.
Oh god, his head exploded. So all the ammo I found in here is already spent. Is it over? Um. Survivors? It's locked from the other side. That's encouraging. So I'll go back that way. I kind of don't want to follow the blood trail. Closer, bit closer. Come on, then. Get out, mate. If I know, I'm gonna. Okay, going Indiana Jones on us. Boy, you're a big fucker. Oh. Take it. Take it. Okay. Yes. Everything is full of flour. That's nice. Oh, 
I have got to get out of here. I probably shouldn't have tried standing my ground out there. It's full of flour. That's nice. Shotgun shells. Awesome. on horseback okay um i am in i'm in trouble i am in trouble uh hi werewolf hagrid uh -oh. what are we going to think i'm about to get squished by that giant hammer you have bandages with him? Why do you have bandages with you? Hi, creepy old lady. Um. <laughs> not liking this. It's like, yeah, I'm definitely not liking this. <laughs> Before I follow the creepy old lady, I want to have a look around to see if there's any... Yeah. Got ammo. Oh, I could have ducked in here. Explosive barrel, ammo, herbs. What the fuck is going on? Werewolves and giant... Hagrid looking motherfuckers. He seriously did look like Hagrid. That's it, it's nothing against Robbie Coltrane, he really did look like Hagrid. I've got myself a shotgun. Plenty of ammo. I'm I'm in a relatively good place, considering you know werewolves. Ah. Oh. That's me thinking I could get back to the you know the start and area. What the. F fuck is this? It's locked. And for good fucking reason. That looks really fucking creepy. I don't want to go anywhere near that. In fact, that's where the big guy came from. I don't want to go and visit his house. It's like, hi, big guy. Yeah, thank you for not squashing me earlier. I'm just popping over to say hi. Obviously, I can get back over there at some point. I don't know how, but obviously I'll be able to, because you only got the bolt cutters when you got into here. So... I'm lost. Ah, there we go. Right. 
Fuck it, let's go follow the creepy old lady. It's locked. So obviously I need a key from somewhere. Hi. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. <laughs> so calm about it. Um, hello? Hell? <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Oh, wow. God, you are creepy. Hey, wait. Um, what? Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. Oh, she God, is you are so creepy. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into it's darkness. Crazy. What are you talking about? The monsters? Uh, the monsters. Werewolves. The Castle fucking say it. Danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? The bitch has just locked me in. She's just fucking locked me in here. She's saying they're coming and she's like, yeah, they're coming. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> They're coming. Have fun, motherfucker. Goodbye. Oh, there's some chem fluid. I'm looking around everywhere to see if, like, there are so many similarities to Resi 4. I'm looking everywhere for, like, little glints, just in case there's any jewels or anything tucked away. An easy-to-pick lock. Where is the fucking lock pick, then? Or is this going to be a case of you get a lockpick and then it breaks after one use? Hello. If I was a betting man, aha! Just like Rizzy 5. Crystal fragment. That's a point, I picked up a crystal skull. Crystal remains of a sharp fanged figure. It's locked from the other side. Great. Can't get that way. I need some kind of other item. You mean a crank? Can't get in that way. Getting down there. I'll just check that place out. Can I get up here? It's locked from the other side. Uh, it's just a tractor up that way. I guess I'm going towards the creepy gates. What the hell is this? Is um, we offer these goats of warding to protect the village and its people. May any who break them shall feel Mother Miranda's wrath. You got my daughter. Cut Rose. Of course I'm going to fucking break it. So obviously there's some there's a collectible in there, but how do I get to it? So what's this? Guess this le leads to the castle. So there's an angel and a demon tablet I have to find from the look of it. Oh! 
I see you glinting up there. Did I pick it up? Yes. A maiden crest. Up. Uh, Should disaster fall upon the village, seek out the crest. One is in the care of the church, the other is at Louise's house. Right. Use typewriters to save your progress. And being as I've just saved, it seems like a pretty good place to end the episode. So, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. Enjoyed me getting the shit scared out of me by werewolves. Um, yeah. Uh, leave a like if you've enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see more content like it. As always, there'll be a link to the full plays in the description, and I hope to see you next time. Adios.